From the heart of Kronos to the frozen wastes of Rurapenthe, the Klingons have built an empire that values strength, honor, and skill in combat. To be Klingon is to be a warrior. Fight well, live with honor, die with a blade in your hand. If you can do these things, you will live forever in the stories of the great Klingon heroes. Thanks for coming. Spotting a Borg scout here made a lot of people nervous, and with good reason. So, some old friends called in a favor, and here I am. I came here looking for Borg, but the real problem turned out to be sabotage. Orion smugglers fouled up the long-range array, but they left the short-range sensors intact. I have plenty of evidence from the sensor logs to turn over to Alliance officials. Still a concern. If they're sizing up this quadrant as an incursion zone, we need to know about it. I have a few ideas on upgrading the sensor arrays, making them harder to disable and better at spotting Borg. Beam me over and we can sort out the details. With your assistance, I can complete the modifications quickly. Now that we have a working array, our next step will be initiating the new security protocols. Hold on. Are you seeing this? The long-range sensors just lit up like a Dabo table. Creating a massive energy surge. We're being scanned. Something's overriding all our control systems, attempting to bypass. Pleasant. Still, there are no damage reports, no casualties. Scanning. Hmm. This is unexpected. According to astrometrics, we were catapulted several hundred light years from Trellis to the Excalvia system. There's some facts to go along with those legends. In the 23rd century, Excalvians abducted the USS Enterprise and subjected some of her crew to a series of combats. Some sort of morality test. Feels that way to me. I doubt they dragged us all the way out here to have a rack to Gino and talk about baseball. There's one way to find out for sure, hail them and see what they want. I can boost the signal once the ship is in a standard orbit. Assuming the Excalvians are in a talking mood, we should have answers soon. Receiving your signal. On behalf of the Excalbian people, I bid you welcome. Yes, I suppose that would be a bit of a surprise. You'll pardon me for that, I hope. Some time ago, I met and fought beside one of your own, Captain James Kirk. Under the circumstances, we felt seeing a familiar face would make this meeting go a little smoother. That is a complicated matter, I'm afraid. I think it would be easier to discuss it face to face. We prepared a meeting ground on the surface of Excalbia. It meets your needs for atmosphere and climate, as I understand them. Will you join us there?
Welcome, friends. I do hope the local climate is to your liking. The climate's fine. It's our abduction that we have a problem with, friend. My apologies. It was not an action of my choosing, I can assure you. Your presence is required for a matter of great importance. Greater than conversations with dead presidents? Long ago, the two of us were involved in a study, if you will. An evaluation of two concepts, good and evil. The initial results were ultimately inconclusive. The debate has continued since that time. We now seek a final resolution. What does that have to do with us, exactly? You have been chosen as advocates for the concept of good. But you will not face it alone. Hello. Looks like we have a lot of work to do here. That's putting it mildly. You have questions. I will attempt to clarify our intentions. We find violent conflicts produce pure examples of good and evil. They provide the best results to evaluate and judge. Failure to participate will be seen as your endorsement of the supremacy of evil. The trial will then conclude with a judgment in favor of evil, and our subsequent pursuit of the concept as a guiding principle. The trial awaits you. Proceed through the portal behind me when you are prepared. I think we need to be cautious when dealing with the Excalbians. They're a lot like Q, minus a sense of humor. Fashion sense could use a little work, too. For now, I say we play their game and stay in one piece. Look for opportunities to swing things in our favor. Our new teammate here might have some insight into the situation as well. Michael Burnham, of the USS Discovery. Judging by your uniforms, I'd say I'm in the future. The last thing I remember was preparing for battle with my crew and the crew of the Enterprise. Since we're having this discussion, I'm guessing we won that fight. My apologies, my memory's a bit fuzzy. Possibly a side effect of whatever brought me here. Over 150 years. Fascinating. Right. I'll catch up later. Assuming we get through this trial in one piece. To address your original question, I wish I had but I know as much as you do. Going through this trial will give us the chance to conduct some tests of our own, learn more about them and the situation here. Take heart, my friends. Yarnik has a forceful personality, but his voice is not the only one heard here. There are many ex-Calbians who would embrace virtues before vices. Well said. And as one of your allies here, I have a warning for you. The trials are drawn from your past experiences and records, but they will not be identical recreations. There will be alterations to test your responses and those of your opponents. Expect. Please accompany me. Beyond that portal, the first trial awaits. Good luck, my friends. My tricorder's showing a Class M tropical biome. By the look of things, this world is under attack. I'm reading a lot of weapons fire from several locations in the area. This is a safe position for now, but that could change soon. We need to get to cover fast. I see a plaza ahead. Any casualties? Enemy forces may be in the area. This didn't happen long ago. Some of the bodies are still warm. When did this take place, originally? 
I don't recognize the uniforms on these Vulcans. Romulans? <laughs> You're serious? Those are Romulans. This is a lot to take in. <sighs> the Romulans are... I clearly have a lot of catching up to do. But in the middle of a war zone isn't an ideal place for a history lesson. These Romulans of Tal Shiar, members of a covert military intelligence force. The cost of enemies is long. Any number of them can be responsible for this attack. This one was killed by heavy plasma weapon. Strange. I'm also reading trace amounts of several exotic particles in the area. Anti-proton, tachyon. Whoever else was in this fight used some extremely advanced weapons. Makes sense. The Iconians were allies of the Tal Shiar at this time. They were probably fighting at their side. This may be one of the unexpected changes Lincoln warned us about. Iconians arriving here early. Serpents of the Iconians. They were used primarily as shock troops. We've encountered them before, but if they're here now, things are worse than expected. There's a tactical force field blocking our way. That looks like the emitter over there. Should be simple enough to destroy it.
time it is fortuitous, my old friend. My resistance forces are closing in on Hakiv's laboratory, but he has opened an Iconian gate. The Iconians have sent their minions to aid Hakiv, but all is not lost. We can still stop them. The lab is not far from here. If we can fight our way past the guards, we can put an end to all this, and Hakiv. Excalbians? No, Iconians! Hakiv has brought them here. They're putting up quite a... F Looks like there's another tactical force field blocking the way. This Hakiv really doesn't want to be interrupted, does he? It may not be in an obvious place. Check the nearby buildings and rooftops. Hold up in the south like the cornered vermin he is. Once we're near his position, I can set up a jamming field to prevent him from beaming out. Then we can bring him to justice at last. You might be able to block transporters, Obasek, but I doubt you can block a functional Iconian gate. As long as that remains open, Hakib will be able to escape. Deal with the gate first, then you can talk about justice all you want.
so good of you to join us today. I've dreamed of ridding the galaxy of your stench for some time. And now, with the Iconians at my side, that dream shall become a reality. This ends now, Hakiv. No amount of Iconian or Talshiar scum will stop me. Blood calls for blood. We have bigger problems. The Iconian gate is still online, remember? Hakiv can bring in Iconian reinforcements as long as it is. Then let's shut it down. Keep Hakiv and his forces busy while we work, or this trial will end real soon. And not in our favor. in bad shape. He needs field surgery right now or he's not going to make it. I can't do this alone. I need your help to save him. It keeps getting away. If he leaves through a gateway, he could return with enough Iconians to finish us off. Do you want to pursue him? Rest easy, friends. This part of the trial has reached its conclusion. There's a portal nearby. Use it to return to Yarnik. He wishes to review the results of the trial. leave an ally to die upon the battlefield is not the mark of a strong soul. Saving the life of a comrade in the fight against evil was a brave and noble act, one worthy of praise rather than scorn. The trial continues. Proceed through the nearby portal when you are ready to begin the next evaluation. 
Come this way for your next trial. Any idea where we are? I haven't seen anything like this. This is the Anorex, a vessel designed for temporal warfare. A Krenum scientist named Noy used it to pursue an agenda of terror. We could be anywhere, at any point in time. like some kind of command station. Secure the area. We might be able to find useful data here. of the Nakul star. She wants more. She wants revenge. It is tempting to use the Tox Utat on Saul, on Vulcan, on every star in the Alliance. But I have a better use for it at Procyon 5. Nakul vengeance shall have to wait. My plan to recruit Admiral Lita to the Temporal Liberation Front was a success. Keeping her loyalty, however, is quite challenging. Like so many Terrans, her dreams of empire are strong. As long as those dreams remain in her reality, our partnership shall continue. The moment her dream takes hold in our reality, my reality, then the honeymoon, as they say, is over. Petty squabbles over the Tox Utat have become tiresome. First Krog, and now Azure and Boratus. They growl and demand and threaten to depart over the artifact like petulant children. If it were not a critical element of my plans, I would have left it on Ryza, along with the corpses of Picard and his charming thief. The Sphere Builders grow suspicious of my inquiries. I believe they begin to realize what my ultimate goal is. What I shall do once this war is won. Today, at Procyon 5, I will undo what the Alliance has done to them. To me, to my family. I will bring back my wife and child. All of this is for them, and no one will stop me. Funny, I've been to Procyon 5. It's unremarkable. In our time, at least. Looks like things change considerably in the next century. And on the bridge of the enemy flagship, no less. Judging by the look of things, the battle may not be going well for this temporal liberation front. We should leave. By now, we've been detected by their security systems. I'd rather not be around when they send combat teams to retake the bridge. There's a turbo lift down this way.
This door here. I'm detecting a massive buildup of temporal energy ahead. Yeah, along with multiple life forms all armed.
to see him. Noise on the upper platform.
History shows you have a habit of meddling in the affairs of others. It's time to break that habit.
here to parley? Or shall we just start shooting at one another? So, the Alliance sends a gang of assassins to stop me once again. Predictable. Before I kill you, understand this. After today, the Alliance ends forever. Thus always to tyrants. And their rabbit attack dogs as well. I will fight this battle again and again until I stand victorious! I understand the need to bring back the ones you want. Living in the past and exercising futility. Defeated. I control time itself! I will erase you all! I can't control time! If anything, time controls us. It's deep, but wasted on Roy. His grief blinds him to things like logic and truth.
I won't let you win! to do this. How, how can this be? You... You were lost. I'm here now, husband. This war needed to end, Noi. Before it can 
consumed us all. Without Noi, without Anorex, the TLF will lack the power and leadership needed to fight the Alliance. The war will end. And who knows, maybe there'll be a chance at a lasting peace this time. Stranger things have happened. The situation could have been avoided. He was finished. You didn't need to execute him. Maybe. Maybe we can still do this the right way. This is a time ship. We should be able to generate a localized temporal spike and send ourselves back to a point before this whole situation goes too far. Let's finish this without resulting to cold-blooded murder. fearful creatures. You cannot be trusted. You're willing to work toward making things right for all who have been lost. Indeed. Very well. It appears the time has come. I speak for my forces, and I surrender. The Battle of Procyon V is over. And with it, the Temporal War. I'm trusting you to do the right thing here. Don't make me regret that decision. I believe that will be enough for this trial, my friends. Yarnik awaits our return. He will, no doubt, have things to discuss after observing your actions here.
To kill a man in cold blood, even an enemy, that comes with a terrible burden to bear for the executioner. Delivering Noi to justice was an admirable decision, one the Founder could have easily made herself. Doing so would have saved not only her life, but the lives of many others as well. Your participation in the trial has been informative thus far, but we require more data to make our decision. Another scenario has been prepared. Enter the portal when you are ready to begin. This way. This place isn't familiar. Either of you know where we are? I know where we are, I just don't know when. Knowing that's gonna make all the difference here, believe me. Let's take a look at those consoles and see if there's any useful information in them. Science officer's log. We saw four was a test site for Section 31's Project Daedalus. It appears to be abandoned. The planet's atmosphere is toxic to most life forms. We were able to establish a safe work area and habitat. Set up a plasma reactor to power the phase discriminators will need to capture the Red Angel. If the plan works, that is. If it doesn't, this may be my final log entry. This is a recent entry, but the area is deserted. We need to know more. Science officer's log. Control found us. We fought valiantly. Discovery wasn't a match for Control Section 31 ships. What's left of her crashed. Not far from here. Somehow, Saru and Tilly were able to transfer the sphere data to this location. But it's only a matter of time before Control figures that out and comes to collect its prize. I need to get the sphere data somewhere Control can't find it. To do that, I need the Red Angel. But the thing is, I can't trap the Red Angel without help. So I can only hope that someone from Discovery has survived, and they make it here before Control does. If Tilly was here, she'd be a font of optimism. But I know what that atmosphere can do. I don't think anyone else is going to make it. Logic suggests that I take steps to destroy this fear data before it's too late. For now, I'm sticking with optimism. As Spock would say, there are always possibilities. Everything matches up to the point where Discovery crashes. That's where things change, and for the worse. Judging by the lack of survivors present, I think we have to finish what they started. That's even possible. Do you have a question? Control is a sophisticated artificial intelligence created by Section 31. It was originally designed as a threat assessment program, but it evolved into something terrible. If it collects the sphere data, Control will pursue a path that ultimately leads to a complete loss of life in the galaxy. We cannot let that happen. The sphere was a life form. It was extremely old and collected a vast amount of invaluable data over the course of its life. It passed that information on to the crew of Discovery before it died. Control did everything it could to acquire the data particularly the data on artificial intelligence. It wants that data to achieve sentience. If that happens, it's all over. Control will be unstoppable. We were so close to this. To failure. To death. 
We need to set up the base to scream the names. Good. Now we need to prepare the stasis beams at that concert. So far, so good. We need to use that console to prime the EMP next. Almost finished. Use that console to align the containment field. We've set up the trap. Now all it needs is the bait. Me. You'll need to go back to the previous room, close the door, and turn off the vents. Yes. Assuming things go as they did before, the Red Angel will appear in time to save my life. When that happens, activate the trap. I've done all I can with these ancient phase discriminators. We should have the power we need for this little stunt. But we're only getting one shot, so make it count. No pressure. Ready when you are, Commander. Right. Do it. Initiate sequence on my mark. Five, four, three, two. Wait, abort! Do not engage! Picking up a massive surge of tachyon radiation. She's here! Do it! Do it now! Activate the phase discriminator. Activating EM. What are you doing? We don't have time for this! Discovery is gone! We have to deal with it ourselves! We have to stop control now, or it all ends. I get the feeling you were expecting someone else in that suit, Commander. Yes. My mother. She designed the suit with my father, and used it to escape a Klingon attack. In doing so, she learned how control ended all life in the future. After that, she used the suit to try and stop that from happening. Clearly, in this reality, that task has fallen to me. Transfer the sphere data to my suit so I can take it into the future, where Control can never find it. We need to act fast. Control is on its way here now. This needs to happen before it arrives. The sensor log said Discovery went down with all hands. Struggle is pointless. Controls using members of Discovery's crew as shock troops.
I leave the field, I'll return to the future. You'll have to fight this all without me. This all can't be killed with regular weapons. You need to do something unconventional. Try to magnetize the floor. It'll disrupt it. You can hit it before it's in I'll distract it while you give it a magnetic shock. It'll take several shots to finish it with wood. Control's loose. We need to weaken it again. Broke free. Everyone weaken it again. Now!
Finish it off! It broke free. Everyone weaken it again. Now! Control is using nanites to take over the future version of me. If that happens, it'll gain access to the sphere data. I can try to inoculate future Burnham with my own nanites. I should prevent Control from accessing the sphere data through her, but it'll alter her biosignature. She won't be compatible with the suit if this works. Too risky. The suit could wind up trapped here. Given time, Control could find a way to access the sphere data. We need to think about destroying the data. Purge it from the suit before Control can access it. I could do that, but losing that data, all of that knowledge gone forever. Consider this. The means of eliminating Control could be held within the sphere data as well. Deleting it could be a fatal mistake. Get ready. This is gonna sting. A lot. <gasps> do it. More than a damn sting! It worked. The sphere data is secure within the suit, and future Burnham is immune to control nanites. As I predicted, her biosignature has been altered enough to prevent her from using the suit. This Red Angel will fly no more. Unfortunately, we have a new problem. At the end, before it beamed out, I think what was left of control merged with some of my nanites. Yeah, 
And now there's a board control hybrid version of me running loose somewhere. Whatever the Excalbians are doing here needs to stop now. Rest easy. The trial of Esau Poor has come to an end. My apologies, friends. These events must have taken a heavy toll upon all of you. We should return to speak with Yarnik now. Let us leave this place. Come along, my friends. While we appreciate the pursuit of knowledge, we also realize that it can lead to catastrophe. Because of your decision to preserve the data, control continues to exist. The fate you work to prevent, the end of all life, will still come to pass. The future is a very mutable notion. It is entirely possible that the actions taken today forestall Control's march to supremacy. The data preserved could very well hold the key to its defeat, along with many wonders long lost to the ravage of time. In the end, a life was saved, along with priceless knowledge. Both very good things, in my estimation. I have my concerns regarding this trial. Yarnik isn't a very impartial judge, and he's clearly a prominent figure in Excalbian society. If his opinion of our actions continues downward, the situation could become volatile in a hurry. Still, it could be worse. We still have time to present our case here. Hopefully we will win some Excalbian hearts and minds in the process. that Yarnik and the others wish to privately discuss the results of the trials. You are free to return to your vessel, or remain here until the recess reaches its conclusion. Once that happens, you will be summoned to continue the trial. How would you like to proceed? As much as I'd like to see what a ship of this time period is like, I feel like we should stay here. We might have the opportunity to speak with Excalvians other than Yarnik and see what they think of all this. I'm not as optimistic as Commander Burnham when it comes to the Excalvians. Returning to the ship has its benefits. I could use a drink. <laughs> Several, actually. I leave the decision to you. <laughs> 